G'day, I'm Scott Cam, and this is what's happening behind the scenes as we get ready to bring you the biggest flop we have ever attempted. This glass-fronted 1980s building is located in upmarket Paran just a stone's throw away from Melbourne's uber-trendy Chapel Street. Think of it as the worst house in the best street. The block glass house is mind-boggling in size. With 3,300 square metres of floor space over five floors. This will be the ultimate test for our new crop of blockheads. To put that in perspective, that's around double the size of the last block, Duck's House. By the time the contestants are finished, this boring office block will be completely transformed. 70 square metres of basement storage per apartment, undercover lock-up garages and two retail spaces. Plus, each of the five enormous apartments will feature combined living dining areas with private terraces, a study, three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Over the past few months, we've been setting the stage. Are you ready? Then, just for fun, we put it all back together again. Carpets, ceiling, chairs, not to mention we're dressing it to look like an old Channel 9 building. So when they arrive, they'll have no idea what's in store for them. I reckon the hardest part of this challenge for our eager new teams might just be getting their head around it. This is so confusing. Right now, we have two huge office spaces separated by this quarantine zone. Right through here, the entire centre of the building is going to be cut out to make way for a two-storey atrium. It's going to be absolute chaos. And upstairs, well, that's basically a war zone. Our contestants are arriving right now. All I've told them is to meet me at the office. But what they don't know yet is, we're all about to get straight down to business. First to arrive... I can't believe we're in Melbourne. GTV9. ...is Chris and Jenna. This. I'm Jenna, I'm 26, and I'm a video editor. Hey, I'm Chris Cicetio, and I'm 25, and I'm a cabinet maker. And together, we're, we're the, the Susies. Susies. I'm half Maltese, uh, quarter Aussie, and quarter Aboriginal. Which is that a half? Is that a half? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm um, Chinese Indonesian. <laughs> so our kids will be our like. Our kids are gonna be like. <laughs> they, they won't get teased. Yeah. <laughs> I want to put it out there like I'm Asian and I want to break that stereotype like, you know, the, the Asians being dodgy and don't know how to drive and stuff like that, so... No, 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 he doesn't know how to drive. Yeah, I do. <laughs> what are you talking about? Because I crashed twice and it wasn't my fault. We're involved in um, this youth program that we run through our church and we look after kids from year six to year eight. Um, it's called junior high. The thing we're trying to do is trying to teach these young people that you don't have to try and be a certain somebody to fit in, you know? You're loved by God, you're accepted. And, and we're starting to see a real change in these, in yeah, these young these people. Kids, so. Yeah, these kids, yeah. Good night, Christian Channel, for the Block 2013! So uh, this morning we actually got a text message of Scotty and um, it told us to go to the Nine Network office. I saved his number, so, you know, <laughs> so I can tell I got it. Yeah. <laughs> we walked in and I'm like, nah, there's something fishy going on here. Yeah. There's no way that this is Channel 9. Yeah. It looks a little hip. Scabby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi. 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 Good afternoon. How are you? Very good. 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 If you'd like to leave your bags just over here, yeah. yep. and then head into the boardroom. Jenna and Chris, how are you? Come over here and sit right down. Hey, Scotty. Welcome. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Hey, Scotty. Good on you. Come in there. Sit down. Cool. Sit down. Relax. Thanks. Relax. He's exactly oh, like TV. Yeah. Like... I feel like I knew. I just wanted to give him a hug. But... <laughs> and then I'm like, no, he's yeah. going to think I'm a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I think you're really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Next couple to join them. How are you feeling, sweaty? I'm feeling pretty excited. Are Carsten and Maxine. Hi, I'm Maxine and I'm a major event manager. And this is my man. Hey, I'm Carsten. I'm an underground coal miner from the Hunter Valley. And uh, we're from Newcastle. Oh, it's a bit insane together. together we're from Newcastle. <laughs> we met online um, on a website called High Five, and he had a picture of him in his budgie smugglers. She fell in love. <laughs> he did a bit of chasing. <laughs> I think we're definitely adventurous. We're always looking for something new and exciting to do. I think we're just happy people. We just wake up in the morning, have a giggle, go to bed, have a giggle. I, I think that's that's the best thing of all. Yeah. The block, here we come! <laughs> wow. What's this? Whoa. Tell them that. It's old. It's a real odd Channel 9 building, or a bit, a bit sus. Yeah. You, know, you think, uh, I'm sure Channel 9 is doing a lot better than that. <laughs> a little bit budge, eh? Here he is. Max and Carson. Come on, sit down here. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Hello. How are you? Love to see you. Take a seat, please. Introduce yourself. Hi, how are you Jenna's... going, Max? Hey, man, nice to meet you. When we sat down at that table, we didn't know what to expect. I mean, we still didn't know if there was any eliminations or what the go was. Excited? Are you nervous? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Bit pumped? Yeah. yeah. Good, that's what we like. <laughs> Next to arrive. Maybe they're going to give us a houseboat. Oh, no. <laughs> they wouldn't. <laughs> I'm Michael and Carlene. I'm Carlene. This is my husband, Michael. We've been married for seven years. We've got two young children and we live on the Gold Coast. So at the moment, I'm working for a construction company as a project manager. So I'll just oversee the whole project, make sure all, you know all the paperwork's coming through, and you know the T's are getting crossed and lines are getting dotted. I might get Jit Rockers to come in next week. I do the communications for Griffith University. I'm doing it part time because I'm a mama. The other half of the time. Pad, yeah. what do you think Daddy does at work? He wants to build a cubby house for us. We'd like to think we're going to win. I'd like to think that we've got what it takes to win the block. It's not that building, is it? Oh, you're kidding me, it is. <laughs> it's a little bit dated. We're not certain this is Channel 9 headquarters. You are kidding. This is crazy. <laughs> Hi. Um, you can leave your bags just here and um, head on into the boardroom. OK. OK, thank you. Carla and Michael, come and sit down on this side, please. Hi. Welcome. Here you go. Thanks. How are you? Terrific to see you. Take a seat, relax. Michael, Carla. As relaxed as you can be. Our fourth couple. Are you nervous? I'm really nervous, yep. Don't be nervous, now. <laughs> You'll be right. Our local Melbourneites, Darren and Deanne. Mm. G'day, I'm Darren, and this is my wife, Dee. Um, we've been married for eight years. We have two beautiful daughters. Uh, five and seven, and we live in Melbourne. And uh, welcome to our home. Come on in. 
We've known each other for 10 years. I was uh, playing for Melbourne at the time. He stalked me. Because I didn't admit I was a footy player. The, the type of females you attract as a footy player, I didn't, I didn't particularly want. And I wasn't at all into football, <laughs> so I had no idea. These are probably the two main memories I have from the 13 years I've played footy. And I really look forward to maybe just right here, uh, a Bisley workwear shirt signed by the whole block team. I think being the footy bubble for so long, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of really enjoying being out of it now and experiencing what it normal no, everyday it's people it's can get to experience. I always had a, a real interest in building and I've done all the courses that I need to do and the aim for me is eventually uh, hoping, you know, maybe at the end of this year to become a registered builder and, and take off that way. I'm getting very nervous. Hey, good luck. Oh, there it is, Channel 9. When we first arrived to this building, we thought... This is old. What are you Crappy. Old? Channel, <laughs> Channel 9. Money. Is this the right building? It looks like it's from the 80s. It's got hideous ceilings that are low. There we go. Darren and Deanne, how are you? Please take a seat on this side. Welcome to the team at the moment. Thank you. Make yourselves at home. And our last team to arrive... Mate, I'm sick of walking. Yeah, it's a big walk from Sydney. How do you reckon you're going to handle Keithy? <laughs> that old chestnut. Our brothers, Shannon and Simon. I'm Simon. I'm Shannon. We're the, the Boss, Boss Brothers. Brothers. Born in Tassie, grew up a little bit there, moved to Coffs, travelled the world, come home, broke, travelled again, come home, broke, and moved to Sydney. We are growing up in the water. Anything to do with water, we'd love to take to it. I think we'll go really well. To be honest, I think we're going to win. Not being... Big calls. Not being cocky. We'll work out. We'll give it our best shot anyway. She'll be right. She'll be right. Good luck in Melbourne. Walked up the stairs. Um, Nine office was... Mm. Uh, definitely needed a spruce up. Shannon and Simon, how are you boys? Please take a seat. Introduce yourselves yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Colleen. Colleen. Hey, mate. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Let's hug you out, mate. Let's not hug yet. We don't know each other. Calm down, brother. No hugs early on, mate. <laughs> So you've all met everybody. Yep. We're all nervous, yep. we're all excited. Yep. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you, Sarah. Lovely. OK. Are you going to take some minutes, Sarah? Yes, I will, Scotty. Thank you very much. Welcome to our first official meeting. <laughs> I'm sure you're all expecting something a little bit more glamorous coming to Channel 9 today to see me in the office. But I hate to burst the bubble, but behind the scenes of telly ain't as glamorous as it used to be. Tough times budget cuts, all that sort of thing. But we do our best down here in the office. We do all right, don't we? Looks good. It's great. It's okay. Pretty clean. Bit old, but it's all right. The reason I've called you all here for this meeting today is to sort a few things out straight off the bat. Number one, we're we paying attention. There are no eliminations on this series. Yes. <laughs> you are the five couples competing against each other in this series of The Block, and you will all be moving in for ten weeks. Give each other a hug. We're through. Amazing. The first relief. Yeah, it was just yeah. like, it was a high-five moment. <laughs> Fantastic. You're all on the block. Unless, of course, somebody does want to be eliminated. Anybody? No. We're all happy? Yeah. We're staying? Yeah. That's fantastic. I love that news. Good on you. OK, that brings us to item number two. Oh, oh yeah, this is a good one. This is an absolute rip. Yeah. Item number two. This is in my office. This is your office. It's the office block. You have already moved into the block. No. No. Oh. <laughs> this is stupid. That's heavy. This is 
where you will be living starting right now. Oh you God. are on the block right now, people. Are you kidding? I don't want you to panic, though. The block is going to be far more exciting than this. Thanks for coming, boys. Welcome to hell. This project is scaring the hell out of me. There's absolutely no way it's going to be done. They've put the cut out for the sink in the wrong spot. Damn it! We've got a problem with the stairs. That's just a lot of <laughs> You've had your six hours to do it. Now let us get the glass yeah, in, and then you can continue. Oh, my God! You were bitching about us. I'm not bitching about anyone! Things are getting hostile, and I don't like it. Just a second. Cheeky monkeys are recording this. Is that cheating? That is not on in this competition. Oi! There's all water coming through our ceiling. Don't cross the line. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Welcome to the block. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the first thing you see when you walk in the door. I want people to feel wow. It's what we plan and it's awesome. This is our little secret oh, weapon. Oh, it's amazing. I think they're great. Definitely when you walk in, the judges are going to be wow. Wow. For me, this is sexy with a capital S. The standard is so ridiculously high. This bathroom stands up to some of the best bathrooms I've ever seen in my job as a magazine. Ten weeks, 60 rooms. Wow. Beautiful. One winner. That's the block. I can't even imagine sitting there being ready for our apartment to yeah. solve. It's one of those things that you look back on for the rest of your life and go, how good was that? Who will win the block glass house? So we're asked to meet Scotty here today at uh, Channel 9. Uh, it turns out it's the new block. You have already moved into the block. No. The disheveled Channel 9 building is um, the job site. This <laughs> is where you will be living starting right now. There is no redeeming features on this building whatsoever. Are you kidding? <laughs> I never kid. Where's my desk? <laughs> Where's my bed? <laughs> Where's the butt? Well, there is no butt. This is where you're going to be living starting right now. OK. Jenna. Yes. Pick a number between one and five, please. Oh. Quickly. Two. 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 Thank you very much. Sarah. Thank you very much. They are the plans to apartment number two. That is yours. How easy was that? We don't like around here, do we? Shannon, give us a number between one and five. Yeah, go four. Four. Nice work, mate. Good choice. Here we go. Can we pass those down? D. Five, please. Five. Gone for the top floor. Nice work. Except there is no top floor. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. I number think... five. Cast it. Has three been done yet? <laughs> three has not been taken, mate. Jeez, you are good with that memory of yours. Yeah, <laughs> you, are, mate. you are good. There's number three. You're a champ already, pal. <laughs> and Carl and Michael, you end up with apartment number one, which has been a lucky number in the past on the block. Thank you. Okay, everybody's got their plans. These are the apartments you will be building inside this building. Seriously. Starting right now. Man, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> He's a little bit of a girl. Nah, don't say that. The boys are watching. So sensitive. I want your first bedrooms finished, ready for judging in one week. <laughs> I'm terrified. <laughs> no, I'm... Yeah, I am. I'm a bit terrified about it. OK. Sarah, is uh, is that done? I think we're done, Scotty. OK, that's tools down for us. Lovely. After you, Sarah, please. Thank you very much. Oh, and by board. the way, your time starts now. I suggest you select a desk to sleep under tonight. <laughs> and get ready for tomorrow. You are on the block, folks. Congratulations. See you later. After you, Sarah. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. So, my shout. Nice work. Scotty's pretty much... Scotty it. stood up, walked away and See said... See you later. I'm having a beer. Can we look? This is like a slumber party. Can you clarify some stuff? <laughs> <laughs> we need more wine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
more info. Are we good to go? So, their first order of business is to find where their apartment is located. Jeez, when they said go, everyone ran off and I thought, what are you doing? Oh, you <laughs> mongrel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh, that is a lot of plants. See what we got. Right. Michael and Carlene are in apartment one, at the front left-hand side of the building. Although they have a southerly aspect, they do have one of the largest terraces. Oh, well, that's the first level. This is the top, babe. Chris and Jenna are in apartment two, which is the only apartment with no external windows. To make up for this, they have the largest apartment, and also are the only ones with a rooftop terrace. Oh, a roof terrace. No, they're all different. But there's two stories. There's ground floor and first. So it must go up. Carson and Maxine are at the rear of the block in apartment three. Their apartment is the third largest in size, but they do have the prized northwesterly aspect, giving them city views. It's exciting. Two, three bedroom, ensuite, void to terrace. Simon and Shannon are in apartment four which is the second largest apartment in the block. It's situated on the front right-hand side of the building, looking out over High Street. Terrace. we got a terrace. Wow. Yeah. Darren and Deanne are in apartment five. Being at the rear of the block means they have the sought-after northerly aspect. That's offset by having the smallest apartment in floor size. Look at that. This is insane. So I reckon now we go and find out where our unit is and step it out and... How do we know where our unit is? Well... I assume they're... Um... So it's so these stairs, are those stairs there? The plans are ridiculous. No one knew where they were. No. It was literally like trying to find a needle in a haystack. What have you got? Yeah. Well, we're trying to figure out where we are. Yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. Is that the edge of the building? I don't even think it is. Should we get all the plans together yeah, and put them all down? Yeah, I'll go get it. Ah, uh, like good little apprentices, they're learning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, do first floor, yeah. Dude. Just, you would think that the nine metre width. Who has roof terrace? How do you know I thought that's what you had. Yeah, we've Which got like, the second one. Careful, Jenna. You don't want to give too much away at the start. We don't have roof terrace. Oh. So only two. We're number three. Are you two? Oh, my We're going to go two. Let's close. Ah, we have a quick learner. On the block glass house, a secret could be the difference between first and last come auction day. What's upstairs? Has anyone been up to the next level? Let's, yeah, let's go, go up. Let's 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 go Right. This is even more confusing now. You're kidding. What's upstairs? Has anyone been up to the next level? Let's yeah, let's go, up, go up. Let's go. Two. It's all right, it's all right. Right. It doesn't help us at all. Yeah, right. This is insane. Oh, dear. It's very tidy. <laughs> Not. Well. What a hack job. Oh, right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> OK, nice. this makes more sense. There's dirty stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's a void. That's a void. This is, this is, this is massive. a massive block. It's this huge. Is... <laughs> Welcome to the block. This is massive. Like, it's pretty big. What the hell? They're going to at least clean up. <laughs> I'm calling Keith. Is this not our boy? This looks like it's been newly cut, so I would say this would be an atrium. Yeah. The void. Maybe that's that's ours. That's us here. Yeah. Bedroom one. Oh, my yeah, God. There. there you go. So it's coal miner Carsten and his fiancée Maxine who are the first to find their apartment. I'm excited now. Have you worked out where you are? We're here. 
How do you know that? Yeah, this is us. This is, well, it looks like it's us. OK, good, you've worked yourselves out now. It's our turn, surely. Well, like, we're on the third floor right now. We don't have a third floor. I think I'm more confused. <laughs> I, th I thought you've read these all the time. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it was surprisingly difficult to navigate those plans, which you wouldn't think it would be, cos Mark's a chippy. It was very embarrassing. I am so confused, it's not <laughs> funny. ridiculous. Do you remember how I said this would be confusing? Well, Deanne and Darren and the boys have found the other side of the building. Here we go, this makes sense. If they thought it was big before, well, sense. that was just the half. At least they're on the right side of the building now. I reckon this is ours, right? This boy is this. Hey, you know, what's this? Week one. So that's our first challenge. So it's bed. Why don't I step out nine metres? Oh, OK. One, two, three. Hang on, Michael. Are you sure you're a chippy? I think your measurements could be a bit off. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, this could take a while. Let's move on. Okie dokie. Nothing to see here either. We can't work ours out. Oh, that's not us then, I don't think. Sure? Yep. Are you sure, Daz? Yep. I'm really sorry, guys. I did not expect them to take this lot. So this is our space? No. Great, we got there. You didn't. So is this how it is? So we yep. are doing this one? Nope. Yep. <sighs> we can't work it out yet. Well, hang on. I'm coming back to these this guys. One. They look like they're working through yeah, their not. plan. Yeah, they can't work theirs out. Yeah. That's a big void, eight metre one. Think, like yeah. I'm thinking I'm coming back to this one, yeah. Meters. Everyone thinks this is theirs. <laughs> bedroom? Yeah, yeah. Bedroom? that's your bedroom. Yeah, it, that's your void down in the terrace. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So it's Should this it come is theirs. Yeah. So where's ours? Ours is from here. From here across. So this is ours. So. All three apartments on this side of the building have been found. Neighbours. <laughs> Neighbours. Which means Deanne and Darren are quick to find the only remaining week one space. There's our terrace. There's our store. There you have it. All five couples have found their apartments and week one rooms. Yeah, I reckon we're all sorted. <laughs> I reckon. <laughs> only took, what, an hour? We're not the sharpest tools in the shed. Oh, dear. <laughs> the fuck's got us in trouble. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a big week. But we look good. We All right. Coming up, Ready? this is Sparta. <laughs> Teams settle in for a night of well-earned sleep. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Ah. I think I'm going to back in. <laughs> Christmas. Presents. Max likes presents. Yeah, I got so excited. Ooh. Oh. Oh, car key. Sexy. I'm a major event manager for a company called Initiative Sport. So for the block, I'll be in control of all the budgets, um, project management definitely. Um, I like to make sure that everything's organised and I like to be on top of everything. This is not going to work. It's gone. It's gone. Half-finished roof. I just don't think the block is the right place for you. There is a whole checklist of things in this room mm. that they have done badly. I'm rattled. Queen. Oh, dear Lord, no. There's one mattress. There's two of us. Flip off. Really? Queen-size blow-up mattress for two lanky, gangly blokes. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work. Should we um, paper, rock, scissors for the floor? We're brothers and we, it, you know, it's always competitive. Since he was little, I've been stronger than him. No, no, I'm the one that's stronger. Faster. We're going to have to redirect that rivalry between us and sort of focus that on two against the other competitors. Yeah. That is just unacceptable. Did you make a mistake? Yes, I did mistake. make a mistake. Did you make a, a serious mistake? mistake? Sorry, I'm walking away. 
Cop it in the chin and get back to work. I don't want to be on the show. Oh, do we get shoes? Yeah, do. Hold on. Look at that. I know I probably don't really need them on right now, but I'm wearing these blue boots and I'm very excited. Blue steel. Oh, boots. Right, I know. Yeah, go on, mess them up. Thanks for that. And that nice. one. I reckon we're really good in a crisis. I think that we've had, you know, we've had some some big things happening now in the 10 years that we've been together and I think we're the sort of couple that get on with it and, you know, we don't kind of get in a panic about it. We just see what needs to be done and we get on with doing it. They need to go. I know that. I'm really frustrated, Dad, because I've designed something and you haven't listened. You get the tools on there, darling, and you go and do it then. I can't deal with him when he's like that. I don't have a teammate today at all. Be able to win some furniture challenges with this. I've got a faxy lady sleeping bag. All right. Where's the catering truck? <laughs> <laughs> Down the front? <laughs> we met overseas, actually. Uh, we were, I was doing a sun show. Jet skiing, high balls, a lot of fighting. Helen was doing a, a dancing and singing show. And we went all the way to Japan to meet, and we found out we only lived half an hour away from each other, so it was sort of meant to be. Why have you got this Oh, my God. Yeah, a little boy's being taken to hospital. We knew it'd be hard, but... <laughs> so, they've got all their sleeping gear. Yeah. Woo -woo. All that's missing is a place to sleep. Can you come up here? We've got to kind of work out where we're going to sleep. Let's make a little house. Let's make a big one. This is kind of like when you're a kid. <laughs> I wonder if this will fit a mattress. You know, it's small, but size doesn't always matter, does it? Yeah, I like this room. That's your bed? Bedroom week one. <laughs> Probably the biggest thing for us is going to be the lack of sleep. Like, we, we value our sleep. <laughs> and look out for that, because when she's tired... I want to apologise in the bed. She is grumpy. I don't understand how this wasn't discussed. Since when did I say leave a chipboard? I don't want to work my butt off doing all this. Today, I've made so many decisions. Give me a hand. Oh, really? This is Sparta. This can be our meeting room. Do you want to put it on the outside? I reckon this can go in the corner. Make it a bit homely. Does it fit? Perfect. You might need to set up a time lapse on this one. <laughs> so this is home. Then we're gonna back in. <laughs> <laughs> so, for our first room reveal. Chris and Jenna have presented a minimalistic studio, which comes with ample storage and day bed. Darren and Deanne's grand open-plan bedroom comes with its very own custom-made dining table. Max and Carsten's cosy studio apartment boasts ample external storage. Michael and Carlene's luxurious glass-fronted walls accompany the indoor bench and some inspirational artwork. And the boys' weatherproof one better opens onto a large indoor terrace with an adjoining study. Being on the block is never easy. But for parents Michael and Carlene, they're dealing with being separated from their kids for the first time. We're just going to call home to, um, to our kids, two kids. Their names are Stella and Paddy. Stella's two and a half, turning three, and Paddy's five. Hi, Paddy. Hey, Paddy, how are you going? Hey, Pad, when we call you in the morning, we'll do FaceTime then. What about ask, ask Scotty yeah. how you can do FaceTime? Okay, oh, we'll ask we'll, Scotty. We'll he ask. should know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye bye. Love you, big guy. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love, Love you. you. 
with day one winding down. So what do you do, Jenna? I do um, video editing. Oh, cool. Yeah. They've now got a bit of spare time to size up their competition. Fed up for me. There you go, that's yours. <laughs> So far, so good. They all seem really nice. Yeah. But I think we're all sleeping in the same room for the next week, so we'll get back to you on that at the end of the week. I'm just a chippy, yeah, and I moved into project management up on the Gold Coast, so talking to a lot of the guys, there's, there's another chippy, um, there's a plumber, a painter, cabinet maker, um, and... And some Melbourne locals. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely tailgating to Anne around town. I noticed something though, I noticed that all the guys are really good looking. <laughs> and really, uh, hey, you they've got like, you know, hot. when they take their shirt off, have a look, they've got all six packs. Um, stuff like hello, that. there's like and three one chick, so six. <laughs> yeah, no, but we're cool. Everyone is sounding positive. <sighs> well, sort of. I love going to bed with the strangers in my room. It's fine. I'm happy sleeping in an office with a bunch of random people. That's okay with me. I don't care. Your apartment's good. Are you just being chair? nice? I like it. It's kind of like a slumber party. It's going to be fun. Well, yeah. Not worried. Yeah. Their famous last words. This is our first night and um, we're just getting settled in. You're going to make a house on Mum taught me well. Water taste. Sorry, spilled it on your sleeping bag. Shotgun left. Damn it. It's the end of day one. Um, we had a massive day. Colleen's already sleeping. We've got big Scotty and Shell watching us there sleep. So um, that's a bit awkward. So anyway, we're going to sleep. We're very tired. Good night, Australia. Okay. Good night. the night and we can't sleep. We've got noises coming from up here. Just thought I'd come upstairs, see what this racket is. Turns out the wind's decided to pick up and uh, all this metal was conveniently left to uh, make noise. So that's making it a little harder to sleep. It's making it a lot harder to sleep. This is fun. I love 6.30 in the morning with the camera. <laughs> morning. It's a bit early, isn't it? Go away. PJ. I think I'll be working on about five hours sleep. Five? About <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> He's too big when you sleep on those things with him. Every time he moves, I go like that. <laughs> that roof. Oh, my goodness. I thought it wouldn't be bad, but it was bad. Did you hear those roofs? Yeah. 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 All the tin just like <laughs> smashing around. And the beds are really loud, so every time you move, it's like <laughs> There's a lot of whinging coming from our newbies. Maybe a cold shower in the block basement will lift their spirits. There's only one shower now because it broke last night. Ten people, one shower. It's not awesome. I think these block babies need to be taught some block discipline. Meet Cam, safety Cam. 
no relation. Guys, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the block. You're in for a real treat. Um, essentially, if you've got any safety issues that you can't solve yourselves quickly and easily, safely and reasonably practicably, come and see me. We'll see what we can do. Um, just working down from the top, guys, what we ask for is respect and dignity at all times. Hello. You're just going to have to give me a call back. Uh, mate, are you in the middle of a phone call or something? Righto, Tim. Righto, catch up. Just on that take, and I'd ask that you don't take any phone calls or make any phone calls during the induction, because it is pretty important stuff, guys. Basically, you're responsible for your own health and safety. You will find signs around the place. Um, we expect you to obey them. It's imperative that you clean up after yourself, that you train what you've got to say, but at the end of the day, it's up to us to be is essentially what we're going to do is we're going to need to obey your instructions. They need to obey our instructions. instructions you have, apart from your life. With that squared away, it's time to ring around the tradies. And getting a good one is vital, as you live and die by your builder on the block. G'day, Michael. I'm actually one of the contestants on the new block series. Um, I'm just hoping you can give me a call back. So, three better, you know, there's going to be terrace. I uh, wondered if, you, um, if you're interested. I'll, I'll be in there as soon as I can. Right on, mate. Yeah, no, that, yeah, that, that's great. Thank you. While finding a builder is a priority, they aren't going to build a thing with all this mess lying around. Let's start moving. Taking safety seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to get dirty by cleaning up. Maestro, if you will. With a clean workspace in front of them, the teams are eager to start planning their rooms. But they won't get far without any cash. <whistles> Gather round. Morning. Morning. Morning, morning. 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 Coming. Here we all are, another day at the office, huh? Yeah. Pretty standard day. <laughs> Did you all work out where your apartments were? Yeah, we think yeah. we have. Yeah. We're good now. You worked it out? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so from the plans, you've also worked out how big they are, the apartments. Yep. Yes. Yes? The question is, how are you guys going to pay for it all? Well, you'll be getting some vouchers for hardware from our good mates at Mitre 10. Kitchens and electronic appliances and things like that from the good guys. There'll also be some handy vouchers. Huge help but it doesn't pay all the bills. The only thing you're going to need is some cold, hard cash. Yeah. That's where I come into it. <laughs> Chairman of the board. <laughs> I will be depositing... 100000 bucks into each of your accounts to furnish your apartments and pay for your traders. Now, this is a simple equation, people, that anybody that's been on a block will tell you. The more work you do yourselves, the more money you're going to have left over at the end to wow the judges. You got that? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Got it. Beautiful. All right, time to get down to some serious business. Cross the road over there. A brand spanking new Suzuki for each of you. So, drive safely, but more importantly, spend wisely. All righty, meeting adjourned. See you later. Get going. We're going to get 100 grand to spend. It's pretty generous, but I don't think we'll have any problem spending it. Uh, um... <laughs> I think we're just going to have to take every day as it comes and yeah. plan wisely, budget wisely, and... Win challenges. Win challenges. <laughs> <laughs> Transforming this colossal hunk of glass and steel to five luxury apartments is a daunting prospect for our new teams of renovators. We're going to start cleaning all this area. So we're going to want to put power down that wall. 
with so many decisions to make over the next ten weeks, Great, mate. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. the newbies are keen to lock in their builders. The cabin tree along there, because yep. that's going to be all glass. But selling such a huge project with such a short time frame so. is no easy task. Whoa. Simon, oh, hey, good day, Simon. How are nice. you? Nice to meet you. Hey, Greg. Nice to meet you. Guys. Builders, nice hopefully our builders. Hopefully. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> what a bum sight. Yeah. You know, we can look at the plans here, Paulie. We've got ten weeks. We've got a week to do a room each. Right on. So there's a little bit of work involved. Pretty so. full on, yeah. One big challenge, but I, I reckon you boys will be up to it. Hey. We'll see. We'll find well, out. <laughs> don't say that. We uh, can I count on you, Sweet. I'm in, mate. Good on you, mate. No worries at all. Good on you, Paul. I'm on board. We're on board. We are on board. Oh. Oh, well, good luck with that one. <laughs> good luck, <laughs> That's it. We've really thrown up a tough challenge this time around. It's going to be a long road to auction day. First day today. We're on the high. Absolutely knackered. Oh, you're on a high, I'm stuffed. I, I'm hoping it can only get easier because we're still getting used to like the newness of it all and sleeping in an office. I'm not sure how it can get easier. All we did today was sweep up. And Chris and Jenna, who are the only team not to lock in a builder, are starting to feel the pressure. Yeah. We we'll feel like we're a little bit behind because we don't have a builder. Yeah. Because without a builder or a carpenter, we can't start. Yeah. So, with day two at the block glass house winding up, our blockheads have had the chance to size up the job. The enormity of this job, it's definitely sunk in. Just there's a, the amount of stuff we've had to clean up today, and we haven't even touched the sides. So, you know, we've still got, I reckon, a good couple of days just getting the site clean. Yeah, I am exhausted. Um, I'm going to go and get a bite to eat in a second and have a shower and then sit down in our lovely little room downstairs and I might crack a beer in the, in the fridge, uh, lay on the king-size bed that you guys provide us with. Yeah, just have a really easy night. I think it's actually a lot of fun. I'm going to be a little bit sad when we go into a real bedroom. <laughs> Will you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Because we're all together and... <laughs> A little party. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think tonight we'll get any more sleep? Not by the sounds of that. <laughs> With only one week to go until I want the guest bedroom delivered, I'm picturing most couples will be burning the candle at both ends. It's quarter past nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's quarter past nine. <laughs> and you're sleeping. Just finished. Tired. Shan's already gone to bed. I'm complaining to do. I'm going to bed. No. <laughs> um, not quite what I had in mind. Mm. So one down. Ten weeks to go. Nine weeks and six days to go. Yeah. And tomorrow no is going to be another big day. So... Night-night. Stop talking to us, we're going to sleep. <laughs> This week, this project is scaring the hell out of me. The enormity, the sheer massive scale is bamboozling the new blockhead. We have six days to go. Um, we haven't started building. There's tons of rubbish to be cleaned up. We can't continue like this. Otherwise, we're going to close the site down. Builders need to be locked in pronto. Hello, Hello. Chris. I just brought the boys around. Or nothing's going to happen on time. This is what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. <laughs> and it's game on with innovative ideas. We put a skylight in. That'll act as a bit of a feature. And secret weapons. Every point in the house will be enhanced. It's going to be amazing. Some blockheads aren't phased at all. I have a positive outlook on life. It's sickening how happy she is. While others know the real story. Renovating is hard. It's even harder on the block. And on a big building site, there's big problems. Yeah! We're the only one that haven't got steel up yet. It has been one big debacle. 
leaving contestants in the lurch. I don't see all rooms being done. Relationships implode. I can't deal with him when he's like that. I don't have a teammate today at all. Cars explode. <laughs> what happened? And at the end of the week, the judges are blown away. Oh, oh wow. These guys know what they're doing. That's spectacular. This is goosebump material already on the first room reveal. The one team fails to deliver. You're now wearing the badge of the only couple on the block who have not finished a room. There is a whole checklist of things in this room mm. that they have done badly yeah. or haven't done at all. 